Sports Conversation with Anthony Carlo and Benzino the Hero. We are back here on EB Sports Conversation, and we have just discussed the state of the NBA. The NBA we have discussed. Yes, and we talked about the New York Knicks and a little bit of a devastating loss uh, last night last at the hands of the Cavs. Cleveland. But now we're going to switch sports. We're going to be talking a little NFL. NFL, well, National Football League. Yeah. We already touched upon, upon the free agents. Now we have some changes yes. where we actually have some signings of free agents. Before the spring break, we talked about what free agents were available. Now Absolutely. free agents period, period has passed. Mm -hmm. Players have signed the team. And we said on AB Conversations, the offseason moves makes champions for the next season. Absolutely. So yeah. we're going to discuss what player went to what team. Was it a good move for that team? And... Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Anthony, do you have any player in mind, a big standout player in free agency that went somewhere? Yeah, maybe I have a little something on my mind. Maybe a little, uh, oh, you know, it wasn't a big deal. Or, or was it? Darrell Revis. Darrell How about him? Revis. Switching allegiances. Yes. Going to the... Going to the uh, the enemy, pretty much. The enemy. In the uh, Bill Belichick's New England Patriots. What do you think about that? Well, Darrell Revis, if you didn't know, was on vacation last year in Tampa Bay. <laughs> yes. He, he didn't have <laughs> he a was. stellar year for the no. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He was injured for some of the season, but Some still. of the year, but he made a fiasco about it. Oh, the Jets don't pay me money again. Yeah, I, I want to go somewhere. <laughs> Come on, move. So he moved. He went to Tampa Bay. Yes, he did. Well, he's coming back east. Yeah. In the AFC. No, NFC. AFC. The, the AFC. AFC east. To a team whose coach he called a jerk a few years back, if you remember. Is that Bill Belichick he's Bill, talking about? Yeah, Bill Belichick. Wow. Now, now they're the best of friends. Hey, if money if money's there, why not? Yes. You know how we play sometimes put your team where your mouth is? Yes. They play put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> That's what all athletes do when they reach the professional level. Um, but I think that that's a big move for the Patriots mm -hmm. because obviously they it gives some um, it gives Bill Belichick the the ability to play around with the defense now a little yes. bit. Uh, Ty Law was the last big cornerback to come to that team, mm -hmm. uh, and now obviously Darrell Revis still one of the best in the game. Yes, and he um, you know he's going to give uh, Bill Belichick some diversity there and some some privileges. Um, but there was a bit of a flip flop. If you will, for cornerbacks. Yeah, exactly. What was that flip flop? Um, Akib Talib, mm -hmm. yeah. the former Patriot, Patriot. cornerback, yes. is now a Denver Bronco cornerback. Yes. Akib Talib had a nice year for the New England Patriots, notably against Jimmy Grant. Jimmy Grant when he locked him up mm -hmm. when the, Jimmy Grant was on the Saints. Yes. Akib Talib did his thing. No catches for Jimmy Graham that game. No. So Akeem Tlaib signed a huge deal. He did. Six years, $54 million? Yes, yeah. That's big money. Now, but is he a big player? Uh, I believe he's a big player. Um, th this is, look, the, the, the Broncos went all out this free, this offseason. Um, they made signings, you know, obviously, as we said, Tlaib, DeMarcus Ware. DeMarcus Ware as well. TJ Ward. They made moves. They made moves. Um but Akeem Tlaib, I think, is one of the best in the game today. Yes. Um, they needed to do something defensively. Mm -hmm. We know that. Because they just lost the championship to a team who did everything defensively. <laughs> yep. And the Broncos, obviously, you know, all year long stunned, stunned the opposition with their offense. But when it came down to it, if you can't beat them you got to join them. Yes. So they joined the defensive bandwagon, and they made the improvements that they did. Plus, Peyton Manning still being on that team with that offense going with that supposedly good defense. DeMarcus Ware plus Von oh, Miller yeah. in, mm -hmm. the, in the defensive field. Wow. Plus, yeah. Akeem Tlaib and, and T.J. Ward. Oh, yeah, it's it's a lockdown defensively. On tape, well, on paper, it's a lockdown. Absolutely, yeah. They because you saw healthy. what happened in the Super Bowl. Yeah, <laughs> we know that. Um, my New York Giants. Your New York Giants. My New York Giants. See, I said it this time. I didn't <laughs> say ours. My New York Giants added Rashad Jennings. Rashad Jennings. Which is a, a very big pickup. I think that uh, Andre Brown did a, a solid job last year, but Jennings, I feel, is going to really explode for New York this year. He's getting the opportunity to, to play without you know Darren McFadden by his side. Um, and and uh, for New York, and also we we made some other moves and picked up Dominique Rogers Cromartie. Also Walter Thurman. Yeah, Walter Thurman as well. The third. 
Um, but I believe that Dominique Rogers Cromarty is is a, obviously a talented player, and he's going to help us towards another ring. And um, I feel like the acquisitions of Jennings. I really liked both acquisitions. You like Jennings before you? I like Jennings. Yes. Remember, I, I listed him as my number one yes. pickup for running back, and it went to your team. Yeah, exactly. So I'm happy, even though Ben Tate was also a very talented pickup. He went to Cleveland, by the way. Ben Tate did sign a deal with the Cleveland Browns. Yes, and. Um, Obviously, they needed some work. <laughs> they need some work to do. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about Jennings and Cromartie and Walter Thurman. John Beeson also re-signed with the G-Men. Yeah, nice solid mm -hmm. middle linebacker he is. So yeah. bringing him back in the Giants uniform mm -hmm. always a good thing. But a loss in the Giants uniform and Justin Tuck. Oh yeah, to Oakland. Yes, he went to Oakland. See uh, now, I said, do you remember that? Yes, I said he was. Now you you seem to think he was going to stay. I like him. He's a, I, he's I a like clubhouse him. locker room guy. If I was in the Giants front office and I was handed the decision to to keep or, you know to to get rid of him or sign him, Justin Tuck would not be signed for his skills anymore because he's obviously aging yes. and he's not as good as he used to be. But he'd be signed for his heart. Mm -hmm. You can't get rid of your heart. The Rangers got rid of their heart when they traded away Callahan, their captain, recently. Yes. The 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 um you know. The Yankees are going to lose their heart when Derek Jeter finally retires. You know, uh, maybe I'm not comparing. Justin, Justin Tuck, Tuck to Derek that Jeter, level, but, but it's similar. The heart thing. He still was part of the Giants' heart yes. and part of those championships, mm -hmm. and they got rid of him. So it's a business when it comes down to it. Let's go to the green people across, in New York. Across town, yeah. Not the people from St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> but if, you, if I saw people wearing those colors, we're talking about the New York Jets. Yeah. Gang green, if you will. Gang green. Gang green. Isn't gang green a, a, a fun guy? <laughs> it's, it's called gangrene. Gangrene, G A N G A R E N. Oh, gang green. And it actually results in sometimes the loss of a limb. Oh. It, it's it's actually your your limb dying. Wow. So it's not very lighthearted. Well, the Jets do not have gang green. No. <laughs> they are gang green. Exactly. And they acquired Eric Decker. Absolutely. I don't like Eric. Decker. You don't like Eric Decker? I don't like the pickup for the... Well, I don't like the pickup oh, of Eric Decker God. to the Jets. I like the pickup, Ben. Where are you going with this one? He's not. He doesn't strike fear to me. <sighs> like you, Deshaun Jackson does? Well, the Jets might get the <laughs> Deshaun Jackson. <laughs> they might. Because the Jets also added a former Eagle, Michael Vick. Michael Vick. I want your opinion on this one. That's I, the one I want. I like Vick. I, I like Vick in New York as well. Because he can mentor Geno Smith. If Michael Vick fails out, I don't I don't think he is, but that's a nice role model. If you want Geno Smith to become a player, you want to become a Mike Vick player. I'm feeling you on this, okay? I'm fe I'm I'm cringing for a reason. There's two ways this could have been gone gone about. Michael Vick plays the same style of QB as Geno Smith. If you, if you, as you said, Geno Smith would aspire yes. maybe to be like Michael Vick if he can put everything together. What is Marty Morningway going to have now? He's going to have a quarterback who can teach and mentor Geno Smith. He's going to have a quarterback that Geno can learn from, maybe light a fire under Geno yes. to start saying, mm, maybe I should do this like Vick, maybe I should do that, make himself better. He's also going to have a quarterback who's sitting on the bench, if sitting on the bench for too many games, is going to start saying, why am I sitting on the bench? My name is Michael Vick. I'm a big ego. I'm a big NFL player. I do not want to sit behind a rookie who had pretty much a, a bad rookie season. Well, that's, bad, that's training off. camp. Training camp, that's where you earn your job. Okay. Don't you think it might have been better to go with a Brandon Whedon, uh, or, or I'm sorry, a Josh McGowan, and try and bring in a player that Geno can compete with, but if he wins the role, there won't be any problem? Well, there will be a controversy. No questions asked. Yeah. If two players play the same, yeah. and if one one player is not doing well, and you can have insert a same player, well, a different player doing mm -hmm. the same role, you're going to have controversy. Do you want Gino or not? Listen to me, Jets. Jets front office right now. Johnny Zick, let, let, let's, let's do it right now. Get him on the phone. Dial him up. I want John <laughs> Zick right now. Do you want, do you want Gino Smith? Are you going to work with this kid or not? I said bad first year. He didn't have a bad first year. He was a rookie, and he didn't have a great first year, but he has loose ends that he needs to tie together, and he has to become a good player. Yes. I feel like he has potential. Apparently the Jets do because Rex Ryan said Geno is his starter. Yes. He said that it's going to be very hard for Michael Vick to pull Geno Smith out of that starting role. So then why are you going to go 
with Michael Vick. Why? Well, Anthony alluded to the point that do you want to work with Geno Smith? Exactly. I'm saying if I can get the best person or that was the best person at the quarterback position mobily and throwing at the same time, that's Michael Vick. And if you have that position, that's like that's like a bad um Barry Bonds becoming a hitting coach. If you have the best hitter on your team, best hitter in the game mentoring younger hitters, that's good. I agree with you, but here's the problem. Gino, Michael Vick is not a coach. Michael Vick is putting on pads, and he's going to be ready, willing, and able to throw the football as a starter. Yes. So that's where they're going to run into trouble because Geno Smith, they claim, is the quarterback they want to run with, and they haven't been so assertive about that because there's been a lot of time left in between where they didn't know who the starter was mm-hmm. and all that stuff. But right now... Out of Rex Ryan's mouth, that's the way it seems. But then they go out and get somebody like Vic, who I am not totally against. I'm a, I'm excited to see Vic try and re- bring a championship to New York. But the problem is, is that they're going to run into problems. Yes. Either Geno is going to be left on the bench to rot, and they're not going to have a franchise quarterback to try and mold. They're going to have a, a, an aged, potential to in- injure quarterback on the field. Or Michael Vick's going to be unhappy, and it's going to be a war. Well, the backup position is still up in the air and the starting position for the Jets. But the third string quarterback that was on the Jets. Sims. Well, Sims, but yeah. the injured used to be starting quarterback oh. Mark Sanchez. Right. Now, Mark Sanchez, Sanchez, he's rumors or not rumors. He what, signed. He signed officially? He signed officially. Mark Sanchez is an eagle. He's an eagle. Swapping, just swapping players just right swapping now. Swapping players. It's it's free agency, and continuing with free agency, former New York Giant stud wide receiver Hakeem Nix is a Colt. Mm-hmm. Is a Colt. I like that move for the T. Indianapolis Colts. Plus Reg, uh, Reggie Wayne coming off an ACL injury, mm-hmm. and Andrew Luck, a young quarterback, a young almost elite quarterback, not elite in that sense of Peyton Manning, but right. give him three more years. Keep that core wide receiver group. He will do things. Absolutely. So, Hakeem Nix is another weapon that Andrew can use. Can I make an analogy for yes. quickly? You know how we just talked about Hakeem Nix going to the Indianapolis Colts to compliment, if you will? Compliment. T.Y. Nice Hilton, yes. somebody like that. T.Y. Hilton, obviously somebody who's you know high in the league you know, wide receiving-wise. Um, how about we compare that to the way that um, – Golden Tate went to the Lions Mm -hmm. to compliment Megatron. Megatron. (laughs) And now, don't be surprised if Tate goes on a 1,000-yard receiving binge this season because now all the attention is going to be on Megatron. That opens up a good receiver like Tate. Yes. I like that one, Anthony, because it made sense, and it's in the same topic that we're talking about, free agency, NFL free agency, and both had the same point. Like that one? I had that one in the holster for a while now. Okay. Pulled it out. Bang, bang. (laughs) Uh, Other free agent news, Steve Smith, former Carolina Panther, Mm -hmm. lifelong former Carolina Panther, is now a Baltimore Raven, Mm. three years, $11 million for the Mm 35-year-old. Steve Smith. Might be arguably pound for pound the toughest player in the NFL. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Will his production be as equal as his toughness because of his age? I don't know. We don't know. But Steve Smith, I would like to have him on my roster. Oh, any day of the week. As you said, not only is he he's he's a great player, but he's tough. And he want he he he's one of the hardest working players in the NFL. Definitely. Uh, Julius Peppers, another big name, mm. goes to Green Bay in yes. the division. He stays in the division, but goes to the Green Bay Packers. Big move. Uh, Lamar Houston was a free agent. Now he's Chicago. He's in. He is a Chicago Bear. Let me say. Mm-hmm. Well, let me say that he is a Chicago Bear. <laughs> so if it's one, say whatever way you want. Yeah. He's a Chicago Bear. <laughs> so Lamar Houston's in. Julius Peppers out. Yes. Uh, Jared Allen also still available, notable available free agents. Jared Allen, no Sean Moreno, um, not Antonio Camardia. Antonio Camardia has signed with Arizona. I like that pickup because a veteran Antonio Camardia can still mm-hmm. defend elite wide receivers in the league. Absolutely. Him alongside a young Patrick mm-hmm. Peterson. Mm-hmm. Pat- no, Peter- yeah, Peterson, Peterson. P- Patrick Patterson plays for the Kings. Yes. Does he still play for the Kings? You're mixing up sports, Ben. Wow. The this, this, <laughs> uh, this similar names. Patrick know, no, Peterson and Patrick Patterson? I know. That's very That's very similar. That's scary, shockingly similar. Yes. Could be a little bit more if their both last name was Peterson. 
or Patterson. Then it could be even more. I that feel like happen. I feel like Peter Pepper Piper Pickett. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. Um, other notable free agent moves: Michael Bennett re-signed with the Seattle Seahawks. Yes. Michael Bennett want testing was gonna test the market, but no, he stayed in Seattle. He knew what's best. Oh, yeah. I have a defense behind me. I can win another ring. Oh yeah. And plus, I got paid. Yeah, Good deal. Absolutely. Uh, Dante, Dante Hittner Whitner moves to Cleveland. Anthony said earlier T.J. Ward is a Denver Bronco, so a safety, and Dante Whitner. He will replace T.J. Ward in Cleveland. And a uh, Colt defensive veteran, Antoine Pathea, also a safety, replaces Hittner, well, Whitner, in San Francisco. Yes. Um, I think I'm good with free agency. We're good with free agency. There's still more moves to be made. I know you're good with free agency. Yes. As, as Ben and I will now take a quick break, and we will be back with probably what everybody's salivating over. The madness. <laughs> the the, the Ides of March. <laughs> Stay tuned. The madness of to March. AB Conversation. We will be back. We will be back. <laughs> 